And in this particular video, we're going to be talking about sequences. And this is a pretty big topic, especially in more advanced math like Algebra 2, College Algebra, Pre-Calculus, etc. So if you're taking those courses, you're going to be um, studying a chapter or unit called Sequence and Series. Very, very important stuff. But even if you're not at that level of math, you should be able to figure this out by just looking at the pattern. Okay, so what do we have here? Well, we have a pattern, i.e. a sequence of number uh, numbers, and it's going from 2 to 4, and then 4 to 8, 8 to 16. So there is a pattern in these sequence of numbers. Okay, now I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is right now, but, it, you know, hopefully it's pretty obvious on how we go from this number to this number to this number, like what's going on in order to get to the next number in the sequence. So the question is this, our first number, our first uh, number in this sequence is 2, okay? Our second number, of course, is 4. Our third number is 8. Our fourth number is 16. What we want to know is the value of the 15th number. And uh, to be more technical about this, this will be the 15th term of this sequence, okay? So again, uh, you know, most of you out there could just use common sense to figure this out. Now, I'm not going to say it won't be a lot of calculating, but, uh, you know, you can go approach it, uh, this problem in that way. So, again, feel free to use your calculator. But the way I'm going to do this problem is uh, basically talking about a concept called geometric sequence. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bit, I don't want to say fancy with it, but I'm going to, you know, kind of show you some formulas so we can understand some of the bigger picture concepts of geometric sequence. So, anyways, if you can figure this problem out, go to put your answer into the comments section. And, of course, I'm going to solve this using a formula for geometric uh, sequence. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. Again, we're talking about geometric sequence. Okay, not to be confused with a geometric series. Now, let's kind of get a little bit more precise here in terms of how we describe uh, what we call the terms of the sequences. Okay, so two is our first term of the ge of a geometric sequence. And in mathematics, we like to use something called subscripts, okay? So you have superscripts like this, you know, something like, let's say, A squared, but that is really a power in mathematics, okay? So instead of A squared with the little twos up here, that's an exponent spot. If I write something like A sub two, okay, that's how I would describe that. This in mathematics is what we call a subscript and it really defines the position here. So what we're saying is that the first term, okay, this one defines this value here, okay? A sub one is the first term of uh, this geometric sequence, and it is two. So I could say, okay, A sub one is equal to two. So the second term of this sequence would be four, et cetera, et cetera. So we're interested in knowing a, uh, a sub 15, which is, of course, the 15th term of this sequence. Okay, we want to know the actual value of it. So you just need to be familiar with this notation because when I show you the formula, you're going to need to understand the notation. So this, the little subscript, this like uh, these numbers, like two right here or three, represent the uh, location uh, the position in that value is in the sequence. And I, and I probably confuse a lot of people when I'm saying that. So if I look at a sub four, I want to, I'm talking about the fourth number in the sequence. A sub 15 is the 15th number, the value of the 15th number in that sequence. Okay, so hopefully most of you understand that. And it's important that you understand this notation because when I show you the formula, uh, we're going to have to use that notation okay so the formula is this so for every geometric sequence okay or every ge excuse me every geometric sequence has an nth term okay in the form of a sub n is equal to a1 r n minus 1 okay so this is definitely kind of confusing uh, but basically this um, term right here, this would be our nth term. Let me kind of uh, show you this in a little bit clearer sense. But if you kind of want to um, 
uh, do this prom with me and actually learn something about geometric sequence, write this formula down, and then we'll kind of review uh, this terminology so we can actually solve this problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look again at a generic uh, geometric sequence. Okay, so here we would have our first term, a sub 1, and then here would be our second term. Here would be our third term, and of course these represent values, right? Uh, then we have our a sub 4th, and then way out here to the very, very end uh, would be a sub n. Okay, now you can go beyond here, but this is just some uh, term in a geometric sequence, and it's the nth term. Okay, so a sub n, this is what this means, this a sub n. Now, in this particular case, we're not interested in a sub n, we're interested in a sub 15. Okay, and we do have the value of a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4. All right, so here, this a sub n is uh, any particular term that you want to find out way out here, okay, in the sequence. Again, we want to find a sub 15, so n would be equal to 15, okay? So a sub 15, a sub n, so n is equal to 15. So we're gonna need that in this part of the formula, n minus one, okay? Our n value then for this particular problem is gonna be 15. Okay, so what about a sub one? Well, a sub one is the first term of the geometric sequence. Remember, we do have that, okay? So we do that, we have that information, it's two. Okay, so we have this. We have uh, n is equal to 15, right? Because we want the 15th term. So let's talk about this part of the formula R. Okay, so what is R? R is something called the common ratio. Let's go back to our problem here. So two, four, eight, what's common amongst these terms? How do we go from two to four? Okay, well, one of two things happen. Why We either add it to or we multiply by two, right? Well, how do you, how can you tell which is which? Well, just take a look at what happened to the next uh, term. How do you go to four to eight? Well, if we were adding two, the next number would be six. So that's not what happened. What we're doing is multiplying, right? So we went two times two is four. Then we took this term, multiplied by two to get to this term, that's eight. And then let's just keep checking. Oh, we multiply by two, we get to 16. So this number, okay, is called a ratio. It's called the common ratio, okay? And that's our R value. Now, how do you find that? Well, when you're dealing with a geometric um, sequence, what you wanna do is take any two pairs, it doesn't make a difference, any two sequential terms and divide one by the previous, okay? In other words, if I take four divided by two, that's two. If I take 16 divided by eight, that's two. You'll always get that common ratio. So that's what R is equal to, okay? So here now, with the formula, A sub N, we want A sub 15. So N is equal to 15. We know what the first term is, right? That's two, okay? And we know what R is equal to. R is also equal to two. Okay, so now that we understand all this, this really just becomes a big number crunching problem. All right, so again, here is our uh, original geometric sequence. Our first term, a sub one is two. We know that the common ratio is two, and we're looking for a sub 15, so n is 15. So let's go ahead and plug everything into the formula. Okay, so this is the formula again uh, for the nth term of a geometric sequence. And now when you're studying ge uh, sequence and series, there is a bunch of formulas you really have to be aware of. Now, if you're at this level of math and you need additional help with this stuff, I'm gonna strongly suggest you check out my pre-calculus course, okay? I teach, uh, you know, really in detail about sequence and series. All right, so let's go ahead and set this problem up. We want to find the 15th term of this geometric sequence, so we want to find a sub 15. We know what the first term is, it is two. We know what r is, r is also two, and we're gonna take that to the n minus one. Again, n is what, 15, right? So n is 15, so this would be n minus one or 15 minus one. So a sub 15 is gonna be equal to two times two to the 15th minus one power. All right, so you're definitely gonna need your calculator to do all this fun number crunching. So uh, this is gonna be, a sub 15 is gonna be equal to two times two to the n minus, uh, 
15 minus 1, which would be 14. So remember, order of operations, you've got to take this 2 to the 14th power first. Don't take this 2 and multiply it. You've got to do powers before multiplication. So 2 to the 14th power. Plug that into your calculator. You want to use that caret button. If you don't know how to evaluate powers, that's something you definitely need to understand uh, this level of mathematics. So 2 to the 14th power is this lovely number right here. So... Now we can take that 2 here, multiply it by 16,384, and that gives us our final answer of 32,768. That is the value of the 15th term of this geometric sequence. Okay, so this problem, problems like this with sequence and series can get far more interesting than this. I would classify this as a kind of very basic kind of problem at this level of mathematics. Now, if you're new to this stuff and you're like, find this fascinating or interesting, well, that's, you know, I'm doing my job if that is the case, because it's a really cool stuff, you know, when you're dealing with uh, sequences and series, it's really, really important uh, for those of you that uh, plan on continuing on uh, to study, let's say, like calculus or whatnot. But um, there is a lot of formulas involved and a lot of probably new terminology for those of you that um, have never studied this type of mathematics uh, before. But again, you know, even if you didn't know anything about this, you just kind of multiply by two until you got the right answer. That's excellent as well. But if you do need help with sequence and series, uh, check out my pre-calculus course. Again, you can find it at my math help program, tcmathacademy.com. But if this video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.